I may have only had solar panels on my shed for less than a year actually but I've already collected quite a few solar charge controllers. Here's my first, it's 10 amp claimed PWM charge controller and my second again 10 amp PWM and this one which I bought which was the cheapest one I think about £6.50 um, again the auction said it was PWM but I've already questioned that in previous videos I've also made my own PWM solar charge controllers this one based on an Arduino using Julian Eilert's design and this one which I adapted to use the AT Tiny 85 but even these were costing me about £4, £4.50 to make that's before I counted labour but when I was searching around eBay the other week uh, for cheap items from China I came across this. This is a solar charge controller. It's claimed to be PWM both on the label and in the auction information. In fact, let me get that. So here it is on the eBay listing. Um, it certainly was very cheap. £1.69 with £1.49 shipping. So what's that? £3.18 in total. I got this from Dell Hanway 2009. So in the listing you can see that it's equipped with MCU artificially controlled, uh, equipped with device to avoid overcharge, over release, electronic short circuit, overloading, battery inverting, I think it's cut off in the printing. The series connection PWM circuit is implemented to form a major charging circuit. I mean None of it makes much sense, but it does say it's controlled. Is that a microcontroller? And it is PWM. And for three pounds twenty p, less than five dollars, I couldn't resist it. So with uh, a battery at twelve point eight four volts, uh, just out of screen, and my Minghee DC DC converter set to twenty one volts, two hundred fifty milliamps because it is February in an, on an evening, so there's no natural sunlight to test this with. Um, let's plug it into the battery. So the first thing that I notice there is that actually it does take a second or two for the power light to illuminate, which makes me wonder if this is micro-controlled. But there's no other indication at the moment, so let's turn the solar panel on you can see it's gone into constant current mode it's at 13 just over 14 volts now it's a solar panel and the battery is steadily climbing all the way up to 14 and a half volts where it seems to now be regulating the charge light is on that's a bit high I'd suggest for normal operation so looking at another listing for this particular product uh, from a different seller actually um, we can see that it suggests there is an equalization voltage of 14.4 volts and in fact a boost voltage of 14.8 volts limited to 60 minutes so I've noticed when I turn it on a second time there we go it is now regulating at 13.8 volts so this second listing has loads more information it recommends less than 36 watts of solar panels but at a 3 amp maximum I think you could go up to 50 watts within 3 amps uh, 12 volt system overloading and short circuit protection uh, self consumption less than 6 milliamps well I'll test that in a minute 5.6 milliamps high voltage protection at 16.5 volts resume at 15 
over discharge voltage 10.8 volts so if your battery gets down to 10.8 volts the output switch is off I think I might try that too over discharge voltage resume 12.6 volts and using a separate converter on the battery uh, connections here so I can adjust the battery voltage as it were um, we can see the output here is connected to my meter and we can check that low voltage disconnect if I turn the screwdriver the right way around here we go and if I just uh, 10.54 volts and you saw there was a bit of a delay there now as I wind that back up again see there's nothing and then suddenly it kicks in again about 13 volts okay so let's open this up and look inside uh, let's get it no screws in this just a plastic back there we are um, the back of the circuit board there not a great deal to see perhaps that's a model number CTK 3A presumably 3 amp 3.3 V 3.3 is that version 3.3 is that voltage 3.3 don't know okay and there's the circuit board let's take a closer look at some of those components so it looks like we've got a MOSFET here presumably for the solar panel and one on the other side there presumably to switch on and off that load there's a resistor there low value an R010 presumably that's to overcurrent protection or for sensing the current at least that looks like a diode uh, it's marked SS65 is that? no it's SS56 NC3050K so these are the MOSFETs used so they're N channel so it's likely this is switching in the negative side and it says here continuous drain current 50 amps so a well within spec at 3 amps now I need some extra light here because I want to look at this which looks suspiciously like a microcontroller come on, the other way around yeah, so look at that it's a PIC 16F 1823. There we go. So that's the PIC 12F 1823 data sheet there. As it's saying, 32 megahertz clock. The analog to digital converter module, 10-bit resolution, up to eight channels. So it's perfectly capable of being a good quality solar charge controller. So I was very interested to find out if this really is PWM and of course the PIC is perfectly capable of doing PWM so I think it should be. Now I've got this little digital oscilloscope here, it's a bit rubbish if I'm honest but it'll serve a purpose here I'm hoping. The probe is connected here to the gate of the MOSFET and in a minute I'm going to turn on my DC to DC converter just to point out when the red light is on the output is on when the yellow light is on it's in constant current mode and the green light indicates constant voltage so the charge controller is on let's turn on the solar panel and there you can see the pulse of the MOSFET. Now that's very small at the moment because that battery is pretty much charged up. So let's see if I plug a load into the battery which is just a little lamp and 
that pulse gets considerably wider and when I disconnect that load it's quite a it's 20 watt bulb actually so it takes quite a bit out of that battery and there we are it's pulse width modulating again and just put that lamp on again for a brief second do you know what I'm quite impressed with this little solar charge controller that is proper pulse width modulation it says it's running at about 50 51 Hertz again I'm not sure entirely of the accuracy here so I'm quite impressed with this little solar charge controller it's micro controlled it really is PWM the voltages mentioned in that other listing all seem to be correct there is a question over whether 14.4 volts is a good idea for a sealed lead acid battery but I think this is a decent little start-up solar charge controller and as long as you've got a panel less than 50 watts you should be okay and as long as you're only taking a few lights, a few LEDs perhaps off the load connections this is a decent little product all for £3.18 delivered. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video uh, if you can please give the thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you next time thanks for watching